two-time U.S. Open nine-ball champion. Dynamite, Darren Appleton. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you the two rail diamond kicking system, a very important part of the game, one of the most important parts of the game, safety play and kicking, very important at all levels, but at professional level especially, it, it, it can be the difference between winning and losing, having that extra 10, 15, 20%, beating your opponent to the shot, getting out of snookers, getting them safe, making balls out of snookers, uh, getting lucky at snookers is very important and if you hit the ball anything can happen anyway let's get into it and let's uh, talk about the diamond system right so a lot of you will be thinking how does the diamond system work well uh, it's not as difficult or as complicated as what you think if you think about the short rail here obviously it's shorter than the long rail uh, so for every half diamond on the short rail equals one diamond on the long rail. So that's very important to remember that. So we're working in numbers. So I've put the balls here on the short rail so you can see them. We've got uh, number one number one in the pocket. You've got half a diamond number two, number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they're in half diamond segments. Then from the long rail, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But it's very important to remember the object ball always starts as zero, so it'll go zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So even if the ball's there, it's zero, one, two, or zero, one, two. So it's very important to remember that. And then if the cue ball's here, for example, I'm thinking, right, two, two real quick, how am I going to hit the one ball? So it starts as zero, one, diamond, two diamond, three diamonds, four diamonds, five diamonds so i'm thinking right so if i aim at diamond number five to diamond number five on the short rail the problem is here is that the cue ball isn't banging line so i have to parallel across with my cue so just go across parallel with my cue so i'm basically at just past the purple four here so i play all my kicks with a bit of running english top right hand english very important and i should make this ball probably 99 times out of 100 so let's put the ball here so this time zero one two three four remember with your diamond obviously we don't have a diamond on the side pocket Just keep it in line with the diamonds here so the diamond is actually right here so number four so if i am at, num at number four I would make the cue ball, uh, make the one ball, sorry, if the cue ball's here, but it's not, it's there. So again, I'd have to parallel across again. So it's just past the three. Play with top right English. So that just, just that parallel shift is very important. And that's what most people are using now. So that's just very, very important uh, maths. And the system is actually a lot easier than what you think. Right, so you saw there how well it works, the system, uh, and that's even with parallel shifting across, or whether you want to pick a spot out in the background, or use the mirror image, or freeze map, basically the, the same thing. Uh, so now I'm going to do the uh, balls two through to seven, where I'm lined up perfect with a cue ball, and then you really see that, uh, that uh, this kicking system really does work. So let's start with the object ball. Remember, the object ball always starts at zero. So zero, one, two. So we start at number two the two ball line it up perfect from this diamond to that two ball so I'll play this with right english would have liked a bit more right english on that but still made it right so go to number three one two three same again line it up perfectly to number three aim at the free ball right english just like that so we'll go to number four, one, two, three, four. Very important when you when you're picking your diamond out in the side pocket, it's on the edge of the side pocket in line with these other diamonds. So let's line it up. Wait a minute, number four, touch a right English. Might have got a little bit too much on it. No, perfect. Number five, one, two, three, four, five. Let's line it up to number five. Touch a right English. The further you go, the less English you need. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this is number six. Yeah, you don't need as much English the further you go because the angle becomes a lot more natural. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is probably the most trickiest one when you're so close to the rail, but hopefully we'll make it. It's come a little bit short. Try and line it up perfect. Oh, we hit it. We hit it. <laughs> one more go at that one. And there you go, a really good adjustment there. Right, so you saw there how good the system works. So let's take a look at how good it is when the ball's not over the pocket. So the object ball, which is the one ball, is, is one diamond hook now. So remember, the object ball always starts at zero. So that's zero. One, two, three, four. So let's start at diamond number four. And let's put it in line with a four ball. So if I play this with top right and English. I should at least guarantee it in the ball, but I also know there's a very good chance of making the one ball also. Right, so you could see there how good it works playing to the long rail. Let's see if it works on the short rail. So again, that starts as zero. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. So let's go with number five. So let's line it up perfect. Where my finger is, is the diamond. I want it in line to that five ball there on the short rail. So top right and English. Put a good stroke on it, and that should give you a good chance of making it. So it just proves that the system works really good, whether you're playing uh, two or three rails. Uh, anyway, put the work in. Uh, as you can see, it's really easy to work out, and uh, this kicking system will massively benefit your game.